Hey everybody, today I'm so excited to be talking about the Triangle Magellan 40th Anniversary Duettos. Over the past few years, Triangle has had a, an amazing run of new speakers. First, they came out with their Berea line, which, you know, at a uh, entry level prices, like starting at like $600, amazing speakers. Then they came out with their first round of their 40th anniversary in the Esprit line, which we covered in previous videos. And now they've absolutely knocked it out of the park with their 40th anniversary Magellan series. And the Duettos is a speaker that I've been so excited about out since we got the press release a few months ago. Let's start with some of the advancements in technology that they've implemented in this speaker. As you can see, it has a super cool horn-loaded tweeter, which is what they're known for. And on top of it, they have a phase plug that helps keep the sound accurate with minimal distortion. Triangle has always been great at designing their tweeters so that in off-axis listening, you're still getting the full range of dynamics that the, that, that tweeter can put out. They also updated the enclosure to the motor and that's helped limit distortion. As you can see, that's a trend here. And it's helped give these duettos one of the best top ends on any, any speaker I've ever heard. The six and a half inch mid-range bass driver is no slouch either. To help keep up with that horn-loaded tweeter, Triangle employed a lightweight paper cone with a really powerful motor to drive that woofer and that produces uh, frequencies down below 40 Hertz. Triangle also used new heat sinks to help make sure that the woofer and tweeter can perform at their best you know even after they've been playing for hours at a time. Another cool thing that we love is that throughout the internal wiring and the crossover network Triangle partnered with AudioQuest to use their cabling throughout the whole speaker so from the power outlet all the way to the tweeter and bass driver you can have an entirely audio quest West wired system. Look, we always say the new technologies are important, but the most important thing is the Sonics, except maybe how great these speakers look, because I'm telling you, I think this is the best looking speaker I've ever seen. But seriously, from a sound point of view, these speakers do not disappoint. The Triangle House sound is known for amazing dynamics. And even though the Duetto is a monitor, their range is really, really good. When I sat down to listen to these, I played this song that I had heard a while back called Blacktop by the Yeah Yeah Yes. It has a female lead sing and a lot of synthesized bass and some, some really amazing highs and deep lows. But what I was focused on was how did that female lead singer sound in the room? And it was absolutely crystal clear. Let's hear how the Yeah Yeah Yes sound on the duettos. wanted to push the speakers a little bit more on the low end because I knew with this horn loaded tweeter that the top end would be special. Um, so for the low end, I played a song called Fantasy by the XX. It has rhythmic, deep, deep bass. So it's gonna push any speaker on the market. This is Fantasy by the XX on the duettos with no subwoofer playing. There's a lot of low end rhythmic bass in this song and the duettos did an excellent job really filling like our medium sized listening room. I was really impressed with the response that they gave. It seemed like there was pretty deep bass, but they didn't let they didn't let it get out of hand, which sometimes you see when speakers receive a signal that they just can't replicate, the bass gets kind of sloppy. I think that the duettos did an excellent job maintaining their control. I also wanted to get a measure of balance from this system. So I, I wanted to play a really well recorded track that I know well. And I played Ray Brown's Cry Me a River off the album Solar Energy. Listen closely to the piano here on Ray Brown's Cry Me a River. The 
piano keys in this song are just amazing. It just sounds like they're floating. It's it's just beautiful to listen to. So that popped out really well with this horn loaded tweeter, but you could also still hear nice stand upright bass that Ray Brown is playing without it being overshadowed by that tweeter. And and I think that's really important when you know we talk about a horn loaded speaker. People are saying, oh, it's too bright, it's too this. Triangle does an excellent job making sure their speakers are well balanced, they're dynamic, they have everything that you want in a reference level speaker. So as you can probably tell, I really, really enjoy this speaker. I think at $7,000 to get a speaker that has this type of dynamics, this type of bass response, I think that value wise, it is an incredible buy. As you guys know, we always talk about value and performance. And I think at $7,000, this is a reference level speaker that hits way above its weight class. It's built and made in France, which is very nice. It's so beautiful, comes in three different finishes. This is the golden oak here, and I just, I'm, I adore it. In terms of matching it with electronics, nice class AB. It's excellent with tube amps. It's 88 dB, so you need some power, but not a ton. Overall, this speaker is just really, really special. I think this year, it's probably gonna win a lot of awards with some of these magazines. If you wanna learn more about Triangle, listen to some of their speakers. We have a few of them on our showroom floor. Please send us a message. You can stop by and hear them, set up a demo time, and, and we're happy to host you. Check us out on Facebook, Instagram. Check out our new blog with Park Pewterball, former editor of Rolling Stone. We'll see you next time.